Tonight, we're taking a deeper dive into the health of Hoosier moms and their babies. New numbers from the CDC tonight show an alarming spike in the number of babies dying across the nation. The biggest increase in two decades, up 3%. Indiana's infant mortality rate is seventh highest in the country. Here in Marion County, a new pilot program is focused on improving birth outcomes. And as our Jenny Runovic shows us tonight, housing pregnant moms is the key. Wake up. At two months old, oh, baby Elowin is the picture of perfection. Yeah. Oh, okay, you get comfortable. Taylor Thompson's fourth oh. child, her first daughter, is healthy, happiest in mom's arms. And thanks to a new program in Marion County, she's in a new apartment that's stable and safe. It's peaceful, like we're, it's, it's, we're at peace. Shelter, that basic human need, is something Taylor never struggled with until earlier this year when she suddenly lost her job, her security, and her home. Taylor had a high-risk pregnancy with Elowin. Medically, she could no longer work. Then, she couldn't pay the rent. And even with me being high risk and was it like told to be on bed rest, I was still trying to work like three days a week. Um, and my doctor was just like, either you stop or you go put, you, we put you in a hospital. I had to make the choice to, to walk away. Um, and then nobody wants to hire somebody that's pregnant. You're hit with a bed rest, no job. Now no home. A devastating dilemma for her growing family. I didn't want to go to the shelter. Um, my car is not big enough for us to live in, you know, in the car. Taylor's part of an alarming trend. An estimated 250 moms and babies in Indianapolis are housing insecure. Hoosier women either on the streets, in shelters, couch surfing, or facing eviction. In fact, Indianapolis is second nationwide, only behind New York City, in number of evictions every year. For pregnant women, that comes with dangerous health consequences. And it's why the IU School of Medicine is working to help. Pregnant women who experience housing insecurity are at a 20% increased risk of having a preterm birth. That risk rate is the same as smoking during pregnancy. Any mother and baby living on the streets it's just not acceptable. Professor Terman is leading a novel approach to improve birth outcomes and maternal mortality in Indianapolis through housing. A $2.4 million grant awarded to the IU School of Medicine called Healthy Beginnings at Home. That same program started in Ohio a couple of years ago with major success. No infant mortality, reduced preterm birth, reduced NICU stays, and dramatically reduced Medicaid spending. Now, Indianapolis hopes for similar results. We're saving babies. Babies like Alwyn. Taylor is one of 10 Marion County moms enrolled right now. Over the next five years, they hope to enroll 100 pregnant moms. Here's how it works. Women with unstable housing have to be in their first or second trimester and with CareSource Medicaid. They get help finding a place to live, rental assistance for 24 months, and comprehensive case management. Oh yeah, I can definitely relate. Um, I'm pregnant myself. Paige is the program's director, connects personally with each mom every few days. She knows housing saves lives. That's not something that you want to be focusing on when you're trying to bring a life into this world. There's a roof over their heads that's guaranteed. She's like our saving grace. Um, she got us in the house pretty quickly. Honestly, it's new beginnings, like it says. Now, Taylor not only has an apartment of her own, she has a new job and that beautiful newborn. I love her so much. Who's healthy, safe, and secure. Yeah. In Indianapolis, Jenny Runovich, 13 News.